a good thing to incorporate in your workout is something I call heroes and goats. Instead of shooting 10 free throws at a time, 20 free throws at a time, that's not game realistic and you get all your energy back and you're shooting those shots. And another way is between every drill, anything you do, go to the line and do heroes and goats. It's a one-in-one -one situation. You gotta make both of them to accomplish it. It makes you shoot with pressure on your free throws. If you miss your first one, you do not get a second shot. And you owe 10 push-ups or a line drill or something because you lost the game for your team. Go. However, if you make the first one, then you would have tied the game and you get, you've earned your second shot of the one and one If you miss that one, you tied the game and you got half of a line drill or five push-ups, you can make the discipline whatever you want because you're not a hero, you don't know what will happen over time. Or you make the second one, you made both of them, you're the hero, you won the game for your team, you got no push-ups, no line drills. You incorporate that between every single drill you do throughout a workout, you're gonna end up getting 20, 30 free throws, but every time you're shooting them, it has pressure, you're fatigued, and it's game realistic. When I do two point drills, shooting drills, I only give myself two free throws. When I do three point shooting drills, I give myself three free throws, because in a game, you might get fouled on a three point line and have to have enough mental toughness and focus to sit through three free throws and focus on every single one of them.